Assigning the study plan as a prerequisite. You can assign a companion study plan as a prerequisite for a test or quiz to help your students better prepare for the assessment. For example, if you give a quiz after you've covered a section in your textbook, you can assign the companion study plan as a prerequisite for taking the quiz. You could also use companion study plans in lieu of homework. The companion study plan is shown on the student's assignment page with a green prerequisite flag next to the name of the associated assessment. Some courses do not offer the study plan. How is the companion study plan generated? It is generated automatically when you create a quiz or test and choose to assign a study plan prerequisite. By default, it will include the sections or objectives covered by the test or quiz, but you can modify the coverage to add or remove material. You can also specify a minimum number of mastery points or objectives needed to meet the prerequisite. If a student working independently in the study plan fulfills the mastery requirements, the student can take a test or quiz without doing the study plan prereq. If the student successfully completes the companion study plan for a quiz or test and later unsuccessfully does other work that affects mastery status, the student will need to rework the companion study plan objectives to prove mastery again. You can also assign other prerequisites in addition to a companion study plan. Let's walk through the steps to create a companion study plan. In the Homework Test Manager, select Create Quiz or Create Test from the Assignment drop-down list, or Edit an Existing Test. Select the box to assign the companion study plan as a prerequisite for the test. You will notice when you do that as Step 4, Define Companion Study Plan appears in the wizard. Choose your content and then your settings as normal. The companion study plan is created as a prerequisite along with your test or quiz. To edit your study plan on step 4, you can change the number of minimum mastery points required. We typically recommend about 80 to 85 percent of the objectives listed. You can also check or uncheck material to add additional objectives. For example, perhaps you recognize that students need additional practice in the other two prerequisites so you can add those objectives in. When you are finished, again, modify your point and then click Save and Assign. To remove the companion study plan for a test or quiz, locate the quiz or test in your assignment list and click Edit. Then uncheck the box to have the associated companion study plan. To require the companion study plan for a specific attempt at a quiz or test, click Set Prerequisites. Locate the quiz or test in the Assignment column. In the For This Attempt column, choose which attempt this is required for. For example, let's assume that you give students two attempts at a quiz or a test. You can choose that they must complete this for the second attempt, or you can leave the study plan assigned for all attempts. Again, you can change the number of objectives on this page as well, and then click Update. What does this look like from the student's perspective? On their assignments list, they will see the study plan link for the Chapter 1 post-test. On this page, they will see the material that they need to practice for that test. Anything that they have already mastered will be at the bottom of their page. Objectives they still need to work on will show up here, and they can either practice or take short quizzes on those. They do have access to all the chapters in the course by clicking elsewhere on this page. Thank you for watching our video about the Companion Study Plan.